19 of May 2017, Friday night. Most people think when something is activated by stress, it has to come from negative things. And that's not always true. Not this time. Some people wonder if you can see scary hallucinations if you had a lot of positive stress. Absolutely. I went to a beautiful vacation, my house looks amazing and is almost finished, and I have spent my time with the people I love the most. Yet, that didn't withhold anything. Do I mind? No. <laughs> This hallucination can't weigh up against all the positivity in my life. It was unpleasant, surely, but not decisive. Sometimes I wonder how normal people would experience these things. Would they panic? Would they be afraid? That specific night I was lying in bed with my boyfriend. It had been a relaxing ordinary day, but as always the after effect comes in a time of rest. He was lying next to me and I had the impression that he was already asleep. I could feel it. I opened my eyes to look at him and I saw a figure standing at his side of the bed. It was a skeleton, but totally out of proportion. His skull looked like someone grabbed his head and chin and slowly tried to stretch it out like clay with the intention to rip the head in two pieces. His eye sockets were way too big. His neck was attached to a spine that was way too long. According to the human anatomy, it had to be twice as short. The same with his unnatural long fingers. They looked like claws. Because of his unusual build, he could hang with his skull only a few centimeters above my face without any effort or setting one step in my direction. There were no eyes in his sockets, but I could tell he was studying me. He moved his head slowly from left to right, slantwise, like a cat that's looking at his prey. I don't like to have interaction with my hallucinations. I decided to close my eyes. If I can't see it, it can't hurt me, right? I tried to focus on my breathing till I was calm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly. Once I was ready, I called the name of my boyfriend once, twice, three times. He woke up and pulled me close to him, comforted me. I tried not to think about what I just saw. I tried focusing on his heartbeat, his arms around me. Breathe in, breathe out, holding me. Resignation in the night.